what's up guys it's resurrected channel i mean dead channel walking i mean hey guys it's super and welcome to the mega man legacy collection now if anyone's been watching my you be like whoa weren't you just doing sonic mania so i decided to jump back into really doing like what i made this channel for in the first damn place which was uh doing lps so I decided that I'm going to do the entire classic Mega Man series, Mega Man's 1 through 10, starting, of course, with Mega Man 1. Now, later on down the line, I guess in the Mega Man series, they created this game called uh, Mega Man and Base. Now, what Mega Man and Base was, was basically Mega Man like 8.5, something like that. And... In the game, they actually had these things called, uh, they, they were boss bios. So, what they did was they were like these fun little things you could collect during the game that, to, that could tell you a little bit about the bosses that you face. So I'm going to be reading those. Uh, so I'm fighting Gutsman right now, and Gutsman, a civil engineer robot, he is so powerful that he can lift and carry a rock of two tons. They also have quotes from, I think, the Robot Masters themselves. Can this thing die, please? Okay, it's not gonna die. I'm just gonna get over the, get over that thing. Oh my god, I'm getting bodied by... <laughs> I'm getting bodied by run-of-the-mill enemies. A uh, quote from him is, Maximum power. A good point, he's sentimental. A bad point, he has a one-track mind. He likes karaoke, and he dislikes arguments. Which, I think would actually be kind of weird for a robot like Gutsman to actually dislike... Uh, arguments and stuff seeing as how he's like a oh god a muscle man robot anyway <laughs> sorry if I was stalling a little bit in the beginning as I was reading that I'm sort of like you know I'm commentating it while I'm while I'm playing this so like I'm trying to look over at the at the bio while I'm while I'm playing at the same time so it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous also, a little fun fact about Mega Man 1 is that I kind of suck at Mega Man 1. Uh, it's probably... Ooh, it's probably my, uh... My most suck-worthy performance at any... Oh my god, at any Mega Man game. Okay. I'm actually super surprised I made that on my second try. I wanted to make that first try, but whatever. Whatever, it's all good. Now, usually I wouldn't fight Gutsman first. I would usually fight him like, um, who's his weakness? Bomb Man. I would usually fight him like damn near like last, pretty much. But the reason why I'm fighting him first is because I need Gutsman's power in order to get something in um, in Lechman stage. And the item that I'm trying to get is actually called the uh, the Magnet Beam. Wow, I didn't know those things could fly upwards at you. Now, what the Magnet Beam is... Ooh! What the Magnet Beam is, is actually... It's actually an item that allows you to sort of, like, create these, like, bridges in mid-air. And, uh, I'm actually just gonna run past this guy, because I don't... There's, like, no way to kill those things. They actually allow you to create, like, these bridges for you to walk on, and... The item sort of becomes, like, necessary later on. In order to get past, like, Dr. Wily stage, because Dr. Wily stage is kind of ridiculous. I think I might just die, uh, the first time. But, the way Gutsman works is, uh, he'll jump around a lot, and he'll throw rocks at you. Now, he usually jumps about Ooh, I'm actually surprised I... Oh, come on! Jumps around about three times. Or any number of times, anyway. But in between these jumps, sometimes a rock will fall down from the ceiling. And he'll toss the rock at you. The rock will break, making it harder to dodge. But I'm actually surprised I got through that the first time. Now, from Gutsman, we get this thing... Uh, we, we, we get... 
this weapon that gives us the ability to sort of like just throw certain types of blocks, but not all types of blocks. I'll show what I mean once we get to the Cutman boss fight. But now Cutman is a robot who was originally created for tree trimming work. The cutter on his head is extremely sharp. Well, I can't. Oh no, actually, I can show this off. A bad point. No, actually, a good point. He's sharp and cunning. A bad point. He's stubborn. He likes haircuts and he dislikes rocks, cause it's cause uh, it's his weakness. Or like you know, rock paper scissors, like you know, paper covers rock that that whole sort of thing. But yeah, from Gutsman we get this ability to actually pick up and throw certain types of blocks. Which, uh, again, is really only useful, like, stage-wise for Electman stage and, I think, one of Dr. Wily's stages. Oh my god, this fucking thing is so annoying. It's so creepy looking, too. But it's not, like, a super, like, item that you need to... That's like, oh my god, it's, like, super pertinent, you know? It's not even like a weapon that you can, um, that I feel like you can use on, like, um, enemies and stuff. Like, later on in Mega Man, like, I usually end up using, like, special weapons for, like, enemies and, like, normal, like, run-in-the-mill enemies and stuff. But, as far as, like, Gutsman's weapon goes, it's, like, it's not even good for that. But, you know, only really, like, a boss thing. But Cutman stay. Oh my. You gotta be kidding me with that. <laughs> Cutman stage. I would say it's easy, but I've been getting destroyed the entire time, so I guess it's not that easy. Oh my god, this slowdown. You would think if they if they remade this 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 game from the PS4, you'd think they'd be able to like like why is the slowdown still in this game? Like I don't I don't understand that. You'd think they'd be able to get rid of that. But no, I guess they wanted to keep it as authentic as humanly possible. If one of these guys could drop some health, that would be splendid. Oh my god, really? Please drop some health or something. No, please. I don't want points. I want health, please. Oh no. Please tell me that there's health under this rock. <laughs> Is there health under this rock? No, there's just not health under that rock. Why would I ever think there's health under that rock? I'm gonna die now because there's like physically like no way. Th there's there's one of those like weird jumping enemies um that you saw toward the end of Gutsman stage. There's like one of those in every stage in this game, I believe. And getting past those things is like close to impossible. Really? How would you even get up there? That's, that's ridiculous. Please. I just need health. I don't want to... Oh my god. I don't want to kill these things to have health spawn. Please. Please. Oh, there's some health. There's some health. There's some health. No, I just need the health. I just need the health. I just need the health. Give me that. Give me that right now. Thank you. <laughs> I needed it. Like a like a dope fiend for health. You, that's not helping me. I just noticed that this stage is like kind of like a tower, and then like you just descend the tower again. So like, what's the like what's the point? I think you can actually kill these. Oh no, never mind. I was gonna see if I could actually try to kill that thing with uh, Gutsman's. Oh my god, no. Now I'm definitely gonna die because also a thing in um. In Mega Man is that in these uh, these corridors these these boss corridors or whatever there's enemies which actually didn't um, exist in the later Mega Man games I'm actually trying to tread carefully here I don't know why I'm trying to tread so carefully I'm gonna die so whatever And here's Cutman. Just kill me, bro. Just, just kill me. Hey, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna delay the inevitable. Ouch. I don't understand. The, what's the point? What's the point of points in this game? 
It's like they they do nothing. They do pretty much nothing. But anyway, here's Cutman. Now Cutman is uh, weak against both the Mega Buster and uh, Gutsman's weapon. Yeah, see, so you, you can two-shot Cutman with Gutsman's weapon. Sometimes I actually find it uh, a little easier to fight him with the Mega Buster because you can actually miss the rocks sometimes. So, like, if you throw a rock, sometimes, like, if you're too close, to go over him, like, if he's running toward you. And sometimes, uh, like, and, and, like, if you miss the rock, right, there's only two rocks. Like, like the rocks don't respawn. So, if you miss them, you're, you're, you're kind of stuck. Uh, fighting with a Mega Buster anyway, but whatever. Well, that's all for now. Actually, that save feature actually makes it uh, pretty pretty good for LPs, but that's all I'm going to do for now, Cutman and Gutsman. Next time I jump into this, I'm going to be fighting Elecman and Iceman. So with that being said, I will see you guys later.